Good morning. Uh, this is your host of whatever this is, John here, playing Immaculate Grid. I'm going to shoot for that low rarity score once again. Had a pretty good one yesterday. I think it was uh, four and it became five or something like that. Um, but it was uh, a lot of fun. It was only category, pretty much only categories, a couple teams. But uh, it was, um, you know, relatively easy to get nine out of nine. But like just thinking about who who's going to be the most obscure, got to a chance to make a couple couple book plugs in there so let's uh let's roll right into it i'm going to start sharing my screen and start playing immaculate grid like i said i think it was four and then it it, it became five that's all right hit and refresh and we've got all teams all teams here interesting so uh, this will be interesting. We got the Diamondbacks, so that's uh, that that's usually a uh, that can be a a grid buster of sorts since they're so new. Um, Diamondbacks, Guardians, and Royals along the side, and Red Sox, Blue Jays, and Astros along the top. Um, I know Dotel will work here, but I also know that. Was a Lima War because I played him before, and I didn't know it at the time, so it uh, it was a, a big pull then. Let's see how it does now. Takes two percent. Okay, maybe people caught on to that one. Uh, I think Matt Stairs is going to work here. Um, let's see if uh, let's see Whit Merrifield will work. Um, probably be the most popular, I would think. Um. Let's see. Tris Speaker works here. Al Simmons works there. I use Al Simmons a lot. Should I use him again? Why not? I think that's the only place he'll work on this grid. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Al Simmons won't work. That was close. Yeah, Al Simmons never played for Cleveland. Who? Kevin Mitchell is the guy I'm thinking of that I, I like to play there. I, I, I almost did it, too. I almost did it. Simmons works for a bunch of teams. He does barely work for the Red Sox. But yeah, it's Kevin Mitchell that I was I was actually thinking of. I'm sure there's lots of others. Maybe I should have more variety here, but you know, 0.02% from a former MVP is a, a pretty good poll. So for Red Sox and Royals, how about Royals great Jeff Supon? Former brewer there. I guess I could have tried for all brewers, but it's been tough. He goes less than 1%. Uh, Red Sox and Diamondbacks. Yum Yum Kim. Yum Yum Kim. Um, would work here. I think Tony Clark works as well. Shea Hillenbrand works. Shea Hillenbrand also works here. Uh, Tony... Batista works here. He was traded during the 99 season. I think I'm going to do that. Do that, and then Shea Hillenbrand there goes 1%. How does Shea Hillenbrand do? He goes 2%. I'm going to go, just because I know he... He was actually a longtime Blue Jay, but I don't think he works for any of these. He would have worked here, but he I know he came back to here, didn't come back to Houston, except in the sense that his father played a long time for Houston and he definitely played for the Diamondbacks. That's Jose Cruz Jr. Select the right one. He goes 0.1%. All right. Um, Houston and cleveland michael brantley i think will be very popular there uh finished top three he's a he's a former brewer prospect finished top uh he was traded for cc sabathia he was actually as i mentioned in in my book he was traded for um as the player to be named later in the cc sabathia he was an afterthought matt laporta was the main haul in that trade brantley was the afterthought brantley ended up having the the bigger career. I think he won a batting title too with Houston, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm not going to go with Brantley. Brantley's a great player, but I think too obvious. I am going to go with Mr. Doug Jones, who's also a former Brewer. Saved a bunch of games uh, in his career. I think about 300. 
he goes one percent. That's a solid mustache. Um, yeah. Question is, how popular is Matt Stairs going to be? Uh, for uh, for Blue Jays and Royals. Um. Ooh, here's a good one for Blue Jays and Cleveland. Let's go Jack Morris. Hall of Famer Jack Morris. My first Hall of Famer of this grid. He uh so the reason I came up with Morris, he uh was was on the 92 uh, and 93 Blue Jays World Series teams. I don't think he uh he he won 20 games with the 92 team and then he like I think kind of imploded in the 93 season. But Cleveland uh for the 94 season brought him in and he was uh was their opening day starting pitcher. So when people talk about like Jack Morris started X many opening day starts, you know, bona fide Hall of Famer. I mean he's a bona fide Hall of Famer because he's in the Hall of Fame by definition, but um that was one of the the classic arguments during the seesaw battle will they won't they induct him and it's just like yeah but does he really get credit for like hey he was an opening day starter when he was coming off a miserable season in toronto and then turned in a miserable season in cleveland before retiring i don't know but anyway that's how i thought of that one um let's see do i just close with matt stairs here who i know will work is there a better choice does dotel work i don't know uh i actually don't know if dotel played for Toronto. I think he played for Kansas City, though. Um, I'm always I, I, I'm I'm actually really shaky on the Dotel teams. I know there's 13 of them, but <laughs> uh, stairs though. I'm pretty confident he played uh for both teams. Um, Otis Nixon played for Toronto. I'm not sure if he made it to Kansas City. Uh, Tom Goodwin is a player who comes to mind as having played for Kansas City, but not sure about Toronto. And I don't want to blow this grid on. I've got Matt Stairs in in the back pocket. I know a lot of people are going to say Merrifield, so um, let's see. Faced off in a couple of ALCSs, thirty years apart, both the years that the the Royals ended up winning the World Series, eighty five and twenty fifteen. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think. Like, it seems to me one of the people on the that those eighties Royals teams ended up in Toronto. But I'm not, I'm not putting my finger on it. Like Willie Wilson, maybe I don't think Quisenberry did. Saberhagen never did. Um, Charlie Lebrant, I don't think so. Um, I'll see Brett and White played their whole careers with Kansas City. Um, don't think Tartable ever made it. See, I pronounced his name right. Um. Yeah, let's just go with Matt Stairs. Takes four percent. So Matt Stairs was the uh ended up being the, the grid buster there. So I was right about that. Damon ends up being the biggest for uh Boston and Kansas City. Schilling takes almost half for Boston, Arizona. Manny, no surprises there. Bruno Alomar, not surprised. Brantley, not surprised. Randy Johnson's half season in Houston was a pretty memorable one because of how dominant he was. And Granky always does well um, wherever he's a, an option. So no real bad ones today uh, so far. It's only uh, about 10 o'clock here uh, on the East Coast. So it's only been open for about an hour. Uh, so this score could change, but I'm pretty happy with 12. We'll take a 12. Um, once again, uh, episodes brought to you by my book. I It's not out in front of me so i i'm not going to show it but uh it's uh link will be in the description so you can check that out i uh, appreciate all the comments and the subscriptions and uh or yeah subscriptions i guess and uh i will uh be with you guys tomorrow probably a little bit later have a have a good rest of your sunday peace